Hey guys, X Ninja here. Welcome to episode 25 of Minecraft Clean. Last episode, we failed at getting the saddle achievement, but in turn, we got I think it was two other achievements. What what other achievements did we get? We got the enchantment table and the librarian achievements. So now, this episode what we are going to do is we are going to build a Nether portal and then after that, we are going to go into the nether, obviously, and attack, well, get a gas to attack one of us, attack one of us like, like you guys are actually in the game with me, helping me get the achievements. That'd be pretty cool, but sadly, you're not. So, what we're going to do is build a nether portal, and I have 10 obsidian, which should be enough, and actually, I don't even need this. I don't need these. For now, I don't need them. And so I'll just put that there. So, to make another portal, we need to dig out this. And another portal is actually only, it's like a 2 by 3 box. So we go 2 by 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3. And then we need to put this here, and 1, and then a 2. So that can save you like four pieces of obsidian you know for the corners one two three four since uh, we don't have that much obsidian and it takes too long so that is the way to make the obsidian portal now all we need is some flint and steel to light it up and then we will be in the nether portal so I mean in the nether so let's just put back some of the stuff that we don't really need I have 58 iron ore holy crap all right, I didn't even know that. Um, right. Oh yeah, and I found one diamond. I was looking uh, off screen for another mob spawner, and I found a diamond, but it's not it's not really a big deal. And of course, I could not find a uh, another saddle, sadly. And I'll put my diamond pickaxe here because I don't really want to lose it. Um, don't need this. Right. We got flint. We got one flint. Don't need any of this stuff. And we're going to need one piece of iron. Thank you very much. And we just stick it in here like this. And we got it. And we should be good. We should be good. Alright, I think that's all we need to go into the nether. And all we got to do is go back to our portal. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling so good right now, guys. I don't know why. It's just, I just feel great. And there's our portal. I just feel great, you know, I, I've, I've been trying real hard to get into uh, into my YouTube because I want more active people. I've been trying to get some active subscribers, so please, if you hear this and if you watch any of my videos, not just my Minecraft or just this series, make sure to leave a like and a good comment. I know I say that every every video but it really shows your support to me you know I'm I appreciate you watching my videos but I appreciate you even more when you remember to leave a like because that shows you actually you know like the video you enjoyed it enough to take uh, a little bit more time out of your schedule to tell me that you did in indeed enjoy it so I just wanted to make some torches I just wanted to say that and now we're ready to go into the nether and here we are so a while back ago, a while back, I uh, actually tried to, um, well, there, there's that achievement, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's that achievement. I actually think I'm on peaceful. Yeah, I yeah. am. I actually tried to email Machinima, and uh, Machinima is very busy, obviously. They have lots of emails to go through. They sent me like an automated, automated, automated one, or something like that, and you know, all that good stuff. But I basically talked to my friend and a couple other Machinima directors. I'm not gonna say who, but basically what they told me, what this certain person told me, not the, uh, he's not really a good friend. I just know that he is working with Machinima, and he basically gave me some tips. And one of the hugest problems I have with my channel, 
and uh, all that is the fact that I don't have many active subscribers. I have a good amount of subscribers, over 2,000, but honestly, that doesn't really mean much to me if nobody uh, leaves comments or leaves likes. So if you leave a like and a good comments, almost every video, then you are a superstar in my book, my friends. You are indeed a VIP X Ninja subscriber, and you get uh, double thumbs ups from me. And I've also been thinking about maybe doing a giveaway, but the thing is, I don't really know what to give away. So if you have any uh, anything you want specifically, a game or something, I don't know. If you if you have anything you want, it doesn't even have to be a thing. I could just uh, I could just play Minecraft with you, but please keep it within reason. I can just see a couple things some people might ask. Uh, can I be in the next Minecraft and Friends season? Uh, I'm sorry, but I am not accepting anybody to be in any series, any Minecraft and Friends series. I'm going to get lost soon. And I can't find a gas, so I'm just going to go head back to the portal and re-enter. But yeah, I am not looking for any new people to join my uh, Minecraft and Friends series. I could possibly play a map with you, but uh, I don't even know if I'd want to record it. Maybe I'll have an open lobby again, or something like that. I don't know. I could just play a game with you or something online. Um, I could give you a shout-out. Well, basically, if you win either way, I'm basically giving you some sort of shout-out. I'm getting your name out there. But, uh, if you want a game, if, if there's a game that you have been thinking about buying, then let me know. Also, I'm broke. <laughs> so, if the game is very cheap, then by all means, tell me. I've actually been thinking about giving away a game on Steam, since Steam is super easy. You can buy gift codes of the game online, and I've been thinking about giving away some copies of... The Binding of Isaac. It looks like a fun game to me, and I have never played it, but it really does look fun. I heard it got great reviews, and it's only five bucks, so I thought about uh, possibly doing a giveaway with The Binding of Isaac. So, if you think that's a good idea, since it's only like five bucks, then I can probably make it happen, you know? I could make that giveaway happen and whatnot. So if you if you want me to do something like that, then just uh, just tell me. You know, I wouldn't really mind too much spending you know five bucks or so on it. And the fact that it's five bucks, I was actually thinking about buying two or three copies instead of just one, because then I would be able to you know give more. You would have a better chance of winning. And yeah, so if you if you um, don't mind. The Binding of Isaac, the game, if you think or have heard that it is indeed a good game, then by all means, you know, tell me. Say, oh, hey, X Ninja, I think that's a great idea. You know, I'd love to win a game off your channel. I watch your videos, and this is just like an extra treat for me. So, by all means, please tell me. PM me, even. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll think of something else to give away if I can't give away Steam codes, Steam games, or something. I should be able to, though. It shouldn't really be a problem. And where are all g the ghasts? Where are they all, man? Where, I mean, do they spawn on normal? What about, what about hard? Do they spawn on hard? What's up, zom zombie pigmen? You seen any, uh, ghasts around? There should be a couple, man. There really should be, huh? Mr. Ghast, hello. I feel like I'm in a big cave. Usually there, you can see like, yeah, the sea of sea of lava down there, and there's usually like no open area. No, I mean there usually is not a roof over my head as big as this. And so we need to find a ghast pretty soon, or else I'm gonna get very impatient. I will get very impatient. I might start crying, you know, or something. Something like that. Whatever. 
But yes, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa. And another thing about the Steam one, it would be the easiest thing for me to do since it's online. All you need to do is give me your Steam ID, and then I could just uh, send it to you online. I would not have to go like to the post office or anything like that because I hate going outside. Going outside sucks, you know. All those angry, mean, real people outside in the real world, living their lives, doing their jobs, with uh, making money and doing stuff. I I don't like them. I don't like them. No, sir. I don't. Where are all the gas? Where I need some like gas bait or something. Gas bait, go. Hello. What if I exit my game? Whoa! I thought that was like a bat or something. It was just some smoke. Smoke. So there's nothing here. What if we save and quit? And here's my Minecraft clean one. Hello? Hello? I don't understand. Why are there no gas spawning? Why does it have to be like this right now? I just want a simple achievement where there are gas shooting fireballs at me so I can knock them back into their face area and then get an achievement and then I can just ball out, ball out out of this place. With all these zombie pigmen with like uh, friggin' gold swords and whatnot. Soul sand. Alright, where where am I going? Hello, Mr. Gast? Show yourself. I seriously don't know what's going on, man. There are always gas in the nether. And hopefully I did not get lost. Oh no, there's my portal over there. Alright, how about we try another thing? How about we go back home? Alright, we go back home. And uh, hopefully it's still nighttime at home. So I can uh, take a nap. And then we could try again. Try again by coming back here. And then maybe the gas will spawn. And I will be happy. And that will make me happy. Because, uh, yeah, that's what I want. How do I get back over to my portal? This is not going so good. This is not going so great. Okay. Oh, there's one. There's a ghast. Huh. Ouchie. Oh, God. They're black fireballs now. Let's go, son. Uh, taste it. In your face. Oh, snap. You just got boned. Headshot. Look at that. You got nothing on me. Got nothing on me. So, boom. There we go. We have two achievements. Right off the bat, he spawned, like, right on my portal, too. What a bum. What a bum-bum ghost man. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't like jumping on the soul sand. It goes so slow. All right, so now we're done. We're good. Fantastic. All right. Let's get out of here. boom ba da boom ba da boom ba da boom There we are. We have two easy achievements out of the way. And, uh, oh, this tree is still, like, falling apart. Alright, so, I still want to find a pig saddle. So, if you know how to find a mob spawner dungeon very easily, please tell me. Otherwise, I'm just going to be running around in my underground, like, huge underground mine system. And I'm just going to be running around forever until I find another dungeon. And then I can hope that there is a saddle cuz there's you know there's no telling what might be in the chest but whatever it's fine and i made the pigs have lots of babies pretty much i'll get rid of this piece of fence for you guys so you have one extra block of room and who wants some wheat that i don't have on me <laughs> and i don't even know why i have these sheep here i don't even need like a sheep farm there's no reason for me to have that okay well one thing we have not done in a while is farm, so I guess we should do that. And uh, where is my hoe? Got my boats and hoes. Hoes and boats. Hello. Alright, so... And I'll just take this. I actually don't need to use my hoe on the actual plants. And I'll just walk on my grass. 
Thank you very much. Give me this. All right. Boom. And now we just switch out the seeds. And the reason why we want the wheat is because it makes bread. And in addition to that, we can feed it to the piggies and sheep and cow. Although I don't have a cow farm. So that they can make delicious babies for us. And whatnot. But for now, we're just going to leave that there. So I, what I wanted to do last episode, or what I said I wanted to do, was I wanted to clear this part out. Might as well get rid of my stone pickaxe. There you go. And I wanted to clear this bit of cobble out of here. Like so. So that I could put my books here. My books, because I like to read. I'm very intellectual. I like to read um, uh, Dr. Seuss. Cat in the Hat. Go Dog Go is a classic. Green Eggs and Ham. Gotta love it. And, uh, you know, Cat in the Hat Part 2. Was is it was there a part two? I do not know. I've I've forgotten, and um, and uh, you know all those other other intellectual books and whatnot. Quantum physics for beginners and uh, programming. I hate programming. If you ever like, if you don't know how to program, like if you oh god, I don't even know how to start like words in my mouth. I don't even know how to start how much I hate programming. So, you know, obviously I go to high school. Dur -dur -dur, I go to high school, yeah. And, um, I should get rid of, oh, damn it, whatever. I'll just leave it there. Okay, so, obviously, I attend high school. And high school has electives, obviously, as some of you may or may not know. You know, I'll just tell you right away. It has electives. And one elective, or one of many, is programming in C, which I thought was going to be freaking awesome. I was like, oh yeah, dude, I love, I want to know how to program and, you know, eventually, you know, I'll try and make games because, you know, it was my dream a uh, while, a while ago to, to, um, you know, make video games. And I was like, where am I going? I was like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. I want to know how to make games. It's going to be so cool. And, you know, I'm just going to have a great time learning the basics and then I'll, like, continue it after, you know, I finish this class and whatever and uh, whatnot. So right now what I'm doing so that you guys don't get confused is that I'm trying to make a sugarcane farm and I might as well make a melon, melon farm too. So I need some dirt. All right, whatever. But, yeah, I took the programming in C elective. So it was the very basics. And it was programming in C, not C++, not some other fancy schmancy thingamajigger jagger dagger. Get out of here, skelly. That, uh, that, you know, I was taking. It was just regular C. So, the huge thing that I hated was that it was so dumb. I hated C. It was awful. My, the teacher who was teaching it didn't teach us anything. He, like... He gave us the history of the of what we what we were going to learn that day because there are like different things you learn and see, and you know just like math there are different functions and equations. It's just like that you learn different things that do different things, and they come in handy and they you know you use them for different situations. And he taught us, you know, he was like, yeah, this is this, this does this, but you know we he didn't really give us a good example of what. Ever he was talking about he always just said oh yeah um, let me let me give you an example of what he pretty much did so oh crap I need water so um, let, I'm trying to think of a very basic yet difficult thing to do so if you there's a thing called pointers in C in programming in C there's a thing called pointers and and uh, I th to my knowledge, as much as I know, in my half a year, not not really half a year, more like nine nine weeks of taking C, um, there's a thing called pointers, and to my knowledge, what pointers are is that you they basically tell you where something is. They give you the address of a certain thingamajig, and in your program, and you can use that value. For some other Poopiscopodopolis. 
And this, for some reason, is helpful in making things go poopity doppala. And, uh, yeah, so I, I had no clue what the heck he was talking about. I was like, what? What do these do? They just print out numbers and letters for other numbers and letters. I was like, what the, what the heck? Why am I learning this? What does this even, what does this achieve? What the, what am I gonna, what? Hello? And I was like, and then we had to, you know, figure out, he gave us a problem set for programs, and he's like, go, get to it. Get to it. Get, get to us solving these, uh, thingamajigger, jagger daggers, while I sit at my desk, and if you have any questions, you can ask me. So I never asked him a question, and that was probably a mistake, but I didn't want to get confused any more than I already was, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just try and do it, and most of the time, I did not do it. And the reason why was because I did not know how to do it. And the the way I got my I got my assignments done was that I sat next to my friend and my friend asked questions to the teaching assistant who was also one of my friends, but he always said like really vague things. He's like, Oh, just do this, figure it out. Derp a derp, and I was like, dude, can't you just tell me how to do it? I'm like having an aneurysm trying to figure this out. And he's like, nope, uh, you gotta figure this out, rocket science. Kudur. And I was like, oh, this is awful. So I would usually wait until my friend would finish his program or get to a point where he was comfortable, and I'd be like, hey, let me copy, and I would copy. So then I would just copy his program, and sometimes we would copy my other friend's programs because, you know, we, we had a lot of friends in that class, and, you know, I would just copy everyone else's program because that class was freaking ridiculous, and it had a bunch of mumbo-jumbo that I didn't even understand or, like, enjoy. I thought it was going to be an enjoyable experience, but by, like, the th the third or fourth week that I was into that class, I just wanted to leave. I just wanted to leave. I was like, this is awful. This is ridiculous. This is not... I am, I am so confused. This is stupid. Stupid face. Ridiculous. I broke my hoe. So then, our final project was to take all of our knowledge that we gained over the uh, course of the class and make a big final project. And my project, what most people did was they either did um, games, which is what I did, or they did uh, like programs that actually had a function. Like one of my friends actually did a function where he had physics equations and you just plugged in the numbers into the correct you know, variable, and then it would figure out uh, a physics problem for you if you did everything right. But what, I just had to be like super ambitious, even though I hated the damn class, and he only gave us a day to think about what we wanted to do. So I just picked the dots and boxes game, and if you don't know what that is, it is basically you make a grid of dots on a board. How come I can't, oh crap, you don't need to hoe. The ground for sugarcane. But basically, you make a grid out of dots, and then you and whoever you're playing against take turns putting down dots, putting down, putting down slashes on this game board. And then you, uh, you try to get the other person to create like three slashes so that you yourself can create a box. And then that is how you get points. And so you take turns making slashes on the dots. And then you try and get the most points. And whoever has the most points wins, obviously. So I tried doing that. I spent, we had about maybe a month, maybe three weeks to do this project. And for those three weeks, or for those two and a half weeks, I spent every day complaining about how difficult my project was and not actually doing it because I didn't know poop how to do it and long story short I only finished like 70 percent of it and uh, I didn't even work on it I pulled my hair out and I got angry I like punched my keyboard I was like why you no work program and then it was just annoying so the moral of that story is if you like to pull out your hair and, you know, get frustrated, then by all means, take programming in C. 
And uh, yeah, take just take programming in general if you want to pull out your hair and shorten your life by a couple years, but yeah. I'm not saying that's going to be like it for all classes, right? You know, you could go to college and take programming classes and they might be freaking awesome, but high school programming class, not awesome. Very awful. Horrible experience. If I had to go back and, you know, go back in time... I would tell myself to hey to say hey don't take that class it's awful it's an awful choice you're going to kill yourself in about a month and whatever but obviously I'm still alive I I got through it I got through it so we got two achievements done my friends we got the go to the nether portal and return to send to destroy a gas with a fireball and relieve relieve a blaze of its rod I have no clue what that means so I, you can tell me, or I'll just Google it. And we need to get a diamond sword and enchant it really well. So that that's why we need more sugar cane for the bookcases, and so we can get better enchantments and all that. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Make sure again to leave a like and a good comment. And you know, if you have taken programming, you can go ahead and tell me your experience with it. My experience was. Uh, obviously awful, so until my next video, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.